January 1 Genesis 1, 1 to 2, 25 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the deep, or hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And called, and God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself, on the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit whose seed is in itself according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for, si let them be for signs and seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and it was so then God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also God sent them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good for the evening and the morning were the fourth day then God said let the waters abound with a with an abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens so God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with with which the waters abounded according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth each according to its kind and it was so and God made the beast of the earth according to its kind cattle according to its kind and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind and God saw that it was good then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living 
thing that moves on the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and, it, and indeed, it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God indeed, God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. This is the history of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens before any plant of the field was in the earth and before any herb of the field had grown. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain on that on the on the earth, and there was no man to till the ground, but but a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils and breath nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being the lord god planted a garden eastward in eden and there he put a man whom he had formed and out of the ground the lord had made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for good and good for food the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it parted and became four river heads. The name of the first is Peshon. It is the one which skirts the whole land of Havela, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. Bidlium and the onyx stone are there. The name of the second river is Gihon. It is the one which goes around the whole land of Cush. The name of the third river is Hedekel. It is the one which goes toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is, Euphra is Euphrates. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die and the lord god said it is not good that man should be alone i will make him a helper comparable to him out of the ground the lord god formed every beast of the field and every bird of the of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them and whatever Adam called each living creature that was its name so Adam gave names to all cattle to the birds of the air and to every beast of the field but for Adam there was no found helper comparable to him and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then, he, then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother 
and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed psalm 1 1 to 6 blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the path of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law he meditates day and night he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which a wind drives away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the lord knows the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish proverbs 1 1 to 7 the proverbs of solomon the son of david king of israel to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding to receive the instruction of wisdom justice judgment and equity to give prudence to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel to understand a proverb and an enigma the words of the wise and their riddles the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction matthew 1 1 to 25 the book of the genealogy of jesus christ the son of david the son of abraham abraham begot isaac isaac begot jacob and jacob begot judah and his brothers judah begot perez and zira by tamar Perez begat Hezron, and Hezron begat Ram. Ram begat Aminadab, Aminadab begat Nashon, and Nash, Nashon begat Salmon, Salmon begat Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begat Obed by Ruth. Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David. the king david the king begat solomon by her who had been the wife of uriah solomon begat rehoboam rehoboam begat abiha and abiha begat asa asa begat jehoshaphat jehoshaphat begat joram and joram begat uzziah uzziah begat jotham jotham begat Ahaz, Ahaz begat Hezekiah, Hezekiah begat Manasseh, Manasseh begat Ammon, Ammon begat Josiah, Josiah begat Jeconiah and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begat Sheltiel, Sheltiel begat Jerobabel, Zerubbabel begat Abiod, Abiod begat Eliakim, and Eliakim begat Azor. Azor begat Zadok, Zadok begat Akim, Akim begat Iliad, Iliad begat Eleazar, Eleazar begat Matham, Matham begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Joseph, Joseph begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David. 14 generations from David until the captivity to Babylon are 14 generations and from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ was 14 generations now the now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows after his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Spirit then Joseph her husband being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. 
But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know hers till she had brought forth her firstborn, his first, her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit for your goodness, your faithfulness in our lives, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your word, Lord, and your word is true. You are amazing, God. You are wonderful. Thank you, God, for you are great. You are awesome. Thank you, God, for the strength you sustain us throughout the whole year of 2023, Lord. And uh, today's the first day of 2024, oh God. I pray, God, that you continue to be with us, Lord, with your strength, O oh Lord. You guide us, O oh Lord, with your righteousness. Hallelujah. We may continue to walk with you, Lord. And that your name in heaven be glorified in our lives, O oh Lord, as we walk with you. Thank you, Lord, for the free gift of salvation. Thank you for coming into the world to save us. Thank you, God, for your word. Your word is powerful and true, God. They can penetrate, O oh Lord, in the deepest part of our hearts and transform lives. Hallelujah. Bless the reading and the outgoing of your word, O oh God. Give us desires, O oh Lord, in our hearts to love you more and more and more, to know you more, to want you more in our lives. Hallelujah. Desires all purely coming from you, God, and not of this world. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that we continue to be faithful in you, Lord, in everything that we do. Praying also, Lord, for salvation, O God, restoration, breakthrough, guidance, good health, divine protection, provision upon the, the lives of my whole family, Lord. My husband, my brothers, my father, grandfather, parents in law, and to all the people who are connected to us, Lord. Stretch out your arms around us, God, and draw us closer to you. You are mighty, God. You are great. You are holy. You are wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen.